Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at previewing an ebook. Actually, it works for any book, but we're going to be looking at an ebook in this first unit in our course called Engineering in Society. So let's take a look and see what do we mean by previewing. Well, first of all, when you preview, you take a look at the article, the book, you look for those eye catchers, things that catch your eye. And it's very important to begin to ask yourself several questions. What do I know about the topic? What elements am I familiar with in this publication? What names or ideas do I recognize? What's the purpose of this publication? Who is the intended audience? Is it general public? Is it academics? Is it specifically engineers or engineering students? And always the question of where do I fit in? Who am I? And finally, what do I want to know more about it? When we do that previewing, we're focusing on I, on me. What do I know? How is this going to help me? So let's take a look. The first thing we need to do is look at what we call the title page. There's lots of information there. We have the publishers, and here we have two, the Interdisciplinary Ethics Applied. Oops, sorry, let's go back. And the Royal Academy of Engineering. So we have two publishers that we need to pay attention to. We also have to look at the title of the ebook. And here we have the title, Engineering in Society, and we see it's not the author, but the editor. And we, when we see that there's an editor, it tells us that it's a collection of articles. This person didn't write them all, but rather collected them and put them that together in a book. And finally, let's look at the cover. There's a picture here. What message is it say, sending? And see, in here we see the construction of a building. We see the crane, we see workers, we see something, and we ask ourselves, what is it telling us? What message is going to be here? And then we go into another page, and we see engineering and society supported by, and here we have a list of all kinds of organizations. And the key question we have to ask ourselves is, why are they supporting this? We see academic, but we also see commercial. They've given the money for this publication. What are they getting out of it? So even though there may not be a lot we can do with it, it's something we have to pay attention to and ask ourselves, what do we know about them? What are their purposes? So here I can generally say, aha, it's a mix of academic and commercial. So they're working together for some reason or another. The next place I go to is the table of contents. Remember, we had an editor, and we see that we have a collection of articles written by various different authors. So we can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, um, nine articles. We look and say, do I recognize any of these names? And then I look and say, further reading, okay, suggestions biographies about the different authors, acknowledgments, who do they have to thank? And then I read the names of the articles, creativity in engineering, the virtue, the goodness of engineering, making a difference, ethics and employability, professionalism, statement of ethical principles, the roles of engineers, engineering responsibility, engineers without borders. And I ask myself, what point or idea do they have in common? And here I can say, aha, these are all articles about the issue of professionalism in engineering, ethics, what do engineers do? What responsibility do they have? And finally, I'm ready to read. And I have to stop and take a minute and ask myself again, what do I now know about the publication that I did not know before? And sometimes it's a good idea to actually make a list of that information. 
ask yourself in what ways will this information help me understand the organization of the publication, perhaps in that table of contents, and the information in the articles? And how am I better prepared to deal with the publication or the article? All of this takes just a few minutes, but it's worth doing to make your reading easier and more efficient.